a student has been performing the simplex method in order to maximize an objective function and has produced the following tableau. We first want to determine what variable is associated with row one, row two, and row three, which is normally labeled here on the far left where these question marks are. This also indicates which variables are active. So let's begin by determining the active variables by analyzing the columns of our tableau. A column that contains only a one and zeros indicates which variables are active or basic. So notice how x sub two is active or basic because this column only contains a one and zeros and so does the column labeled s sub two and p. So these are the three active variables. So looking at the column labeled x sub two because the one occurs in the first row, the first row is associated with x sub two. Looking at the column s sub two, notice how the one is in the second row. So the second row is associated with s sub two. Now looking at column p, notice how the one is in the third row. So the third row is associated with p. Now the second part asks us to write the basic solution that the table represents. Remember any tableau does represent a basic solution. So we can determine the value of the active variables by analyzing the tableau and the inactive or non-basic variables are equal to zero. So going back to the first row, this tells us that one times x sub two, which is x sub two equals 375. Looking at the second row, one times s sub two, which is s sub two equals 275. And then finally looking at the third row, this tells us one times p, or p equals 425. And the remaining variables, which are non-basic or inactive, are equal to zero. So this would be the basic solution that the tableau or table represents. I hope you found this helpful. Now there is a more interesting thing about this tableau. Analyzing the bottom row, notice how there is a negative entry on the left here, which means this would be the pivot column. But notice how none of the entries in this column are a suitable pivot because they're all negative and the pivot has to be positive. And this occurs when the feasible region is unbounded, which tells us that no optimal solution exists or no maximum exists. I hope you found this helpful.